example five figure below shows the curve y equal to six over x and the line x equal to six y equal to three find the a coordinates of points p and q b volume of the revolution of the solid generated when the shaded region revolve 360 about the x axis so let's calculate a to find the coordinate of uh, p and also q so at y equal to 3 x equal to 6 over y which is 6 over 3 so we have 2 therefore coordinates of p is 2 3 okay so at x equal to 6 y equal to 6 over x which is 6 over 6 equal to 1 therefore coordinate for q is 6 1 all right so this is the solution for part a okay so let's we sketch our solid first Okay, so I just copy what we have here. So three and then six. Okay. So we have the coordinates of P here. 2, 3, 4, and then we have the coordinates of Q here, 6, 1. So this is our region. Now we have something if we rotate about the x axis in 360 okay so we will have the volume or we will have the solid generated by this region here So we actually looking at this solid here. Okay. So we want to calculate this volume. So for part B, we want to calculate this volume, okay? So how to calculate this volume? You can see that we only have the curve y equal to 6 over x defined from 3 to 6, alright? And then for this curve here, we have y equal to 3 so we need to divide into two part okay we divide into two part so that we have the first region here so we calculate the volume 1 and then we calculate the volume 2 and then we add this 2 okay 
So for part B, V equal to V1 plus V2. So for V1, the formula that we use is integrate from Okay, so we have from 0 to 3 here. Sorry, 0 to 2. Okay, so x is 2. I made the mistake here. Okay, this should be 2. Here should be 2. Eh? So, correction. So, volume 1 is from 0 to 2 pi, where y equal to 3. So, we have the function for x is just a constant, 3 square, dx, and then plus. Integrate for second volume is from 2 to 6, okay, pi over, so this curve here. 6 over x square dx so this is constant square so I should have 9 pi I bring constant outside 0 to 2 1 dx and then plus if I square this I bring the constant outside 36 pi integrate from 2 to 6 1 over x square Ds. Now we evaluate 9 pi. So here we have x 0 to plus 36 pi. So integrate 1 over x square bring above the so negative 1 over x 2 to 6. So we have 9 pi. 2 minus 0 plus 36 pi negative 1 over 6 minus negative 1 over 2 so if we continue this I should have 18 pi if we expand and simplify this I should have 18 pi so negative 1 over 6 plus 1 over 2. Okay. So I multiply by 3. So I get 2 over 6. Which is 1 over 3. So this part will give you equal to 1 over 3. Eh? So we have 36 over 3. Which is plus 12 pi. So the total is. 30 by unit cube. Alright, so we get the same answer. Okay. Okay, now let's look at tutorial. So I choose tutorial number 3, B. Okay, let's discuss at this tutorial number 3, B. Find the volume of the solid of revolution. When the region bounded by the following curve revolves 360 degree about the x axis. So y equal to 1 plus x cube is our function. Define for x between 1 to 2 and also y equal to x. So y, eh, sorry, y equal to 0, y equal to 0 is actually the x axis. Okay. Because at x exists all the value of y equal to 0. So let me sketch first. Okay, so if y equal to x cube, we will have this curve. Okay, x cube is a sinusoidal. So we will have something like this. Alright. But if I shift, okay, if I shift 1 from x, eh, I shift 1 above, so y equal to 1 plus x cube, 
Okay, we shift 1 above dx axis. So when x equal to 0, y equal to 1. So I should have this. This is 1. So I should have something like this. Okay. This is dash 1. Okay, so I should have something like this. But since we only interested for x between 1 to 2, okay, so between 1 to 2, when x equal to 1, y equal to 2, okay, and then when x equal to 2, y equal to uh, 9 okay 9 all right so i sketch again so y equal to 1 plus x cube for x is between 1 and 2 so we should have 1 and then 2 here and then 2 9 here okay so we should have this curve huh? so this is y equal to 1 plus x cube defined between uh, this region okay it be defined between x between 1 and 2 then if we revolve about the x at this in 360 degree so of course we will have the curve below here Okay, which give us the solid of revolution. So we should have something like this. Okay. So now we want to calculate this volume here. We want to calculate this volume. Okay, so V equal to integrate from lower limit 1 to 2, pi. So our function is 1 plus x cubed square dx. Okay. So we expand this first constant I bring outside 1 to 2 so expand 1 plus x cubed square I should get 1 plus 2 x cubed plus x power 6 so everything respect to x so this is just a algebraic function so now we evaluate this so we have x plus 2 x power 4 over 4 plus x power 7 over 7 limit 1 to 2 ok now substitute the limit 2 plus 2 2 power 4 over 4 plus 2 power 7 over 7 ok so when x equal to 1 Everything become 1. Okay, so if you calculate this by using your calculator, the first part you should get 198 over 7. And the second part you should get 
63 over 14. So simplify this, you get V equal to 373 over 14 by unit cube. Okay, so this is, should be our solution. Same with the given answer here. Okay, now let's look at maple for clear visualization. So if we plot our curve 1 plus x cube for x between 1 to 2 so we only interested at this region here okay and then revolve about the x axis so you should have this all right solid here then we can calculate this volume by using the formula so this is our total volume as I told you, if you multiply with pi, then you will get this value. So just uh, convert into or just write in four decimal places. Okay. I think that's all for solid revolution to calculate the volume by using this method. Then I hope. You can try the rest of the tutorial and also find an exam in order to test your understanding. You, if you have any question, don't do not hesitate to ask your lecturer. Until we meet again for the next subtopic, which is volume to calculate by using washer methods. Thank you.